Good afternoon and welcome back to WRMG Television 12 and TV 97. I'm David Leatherwood and we're here in New Albany, Mississippi at the BNA Bank Park as the you poor Eagles are hosting the Belmont Cardinals in varsity baseball this afternoon. And again, I'm David Leatherwood. I'm going to be bringing you the action here. We also have Jack Ivey. He's out there. He's doing Tish and Belmont softball. And we got Scott Webster. He is doing Red Bay and Heichelberg. Looks like it's a six to five ball game over there in the top of the fifth. And it's nothing to nothing at Tish County. And we're about to start action here on WRMG TV 12 and 97. If you haven't shared a broadcast, if you do share a broadcast, share it out there. Let folks watch it and let them see what we're doing. And remember, we'll also be bringing you playoff action later this week. It's going to start Friday. And Jack's trying to put together a schedule. And as soon as we know where all the teams are playing in the times, we'll let y'all know that. But before we get that, let's make sure we're covering some of our sponsors this afternoon because without them, we would not be able to bring this broadcast to you. Johnny's Four Wheelers and Mowers, their military family owned business. They work on what the, and service what they sell. They have zero turn mowers side by side. They got adult and kid four wheelers, pontoon boats, golf carts, and more. Located Highway 19 in Red Bay, 256 919 1804 or 256 810 0795. Sonic and Belmont. They're happy hours two to four daily. Half price soft drinks, slushes, teas. And now you can reach them at 423-9100 and in Belmont, 454. This is right here. And Belmont, 454-3070. Also, we kind of storage lines, the only climate control stores in the area. Owner is Haskell Sparks. He's got, got to be located in Belmont and Tishomingo, 423-8767. The last afternoon's broadcast is also sponsored by Best Way Incorporated in Golden. You need a sign or banner made for your business or your athlete? They manufacture them in-house to suit whatever you need. You have locally operated and owned for over 40 years with experienced employees to assist you. The Tishkinbego County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish both schools or all the Tishomingo County Schools a great school year. Let's go Cardinals. Tri-State Insurance Agents, Kim Wells, Kalen Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser with location in Belmont and Red Bay. In Red Bay, you can reach them at 662, I'm sorry, in Belmont, 454-3304. And in Red Bay, 256-356-4804. When you become a customer of ours, you become family. Happy Holla Outdoors. They have guns and ammo of any caliber and configuration you'd want. They got supplies for baseball, softball, football, disc golf. They got a huge golf selection with apparel and even two golf simulators to check your swing. That's Happy Holla in Red Bay. Good luck to the Cardinals from Tracy Honor, your District 3 House of Representative. Tisha Mingo Connect says good luck to the Cardinals, 662-423-3646. Also, Pro Finishes, Highway 25 South in Belmont. That's Ricky McGee. He'll give you a free estimate. He specializes in RV repair and detailing as well as collision repair, paint repair, scratch repair, and true toppers. Insurances are welcome. All major credit cards are accepted. We are your collision center at 256-224-8447. This afternoon's broadcast is also sponsored by Casey Lott, owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Call Casey and his team for all your legal needs at 662-554-4000. Also, Mr. Edwin Bowling and staff at Southeast Surplus. Good luck to the Cardinals. They're located at 25 Highway South in Belmont. He's your steel product headquarters. And they're also your truck accessory and car supply headquarters. We install what we sell. That's 454-7484. Also, Napa. Phil Byman and staff say good luck to the Cardinals. 662-454-9754. Thank you. That's my man, Coach Hidman. He's making sure I got my correct lineup for this afternoon game. He's got some scratches and some 
<laughs> stuff going on, but hey, hey, I'm all about that. I've done that a hundred times myself when you're trying to put the right kids in the right spot. And and I tell you, there's a whole lot more goes to uh, coaching than just writing the name down on a piece of paper. Good luck to the Cardinals from Stacy Step, your District 5 Tishomingo County School Board member. Also, Mr. J.C. Weeks and his friendly staff at Redmont Pharmacy, 356-9000. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Misty and Dusty Brandon there at 106 Main Street in, in the Belmont area. We have new wind chimes that are not only beautiful but sound beautiful. If you're planning a wedding in the future, come by and see us. We can make your dreams come true in any budget. Inspirations for women, your hometown one-stop shop. Or Matt, fashion and comfort come together. Go see Tammy, Tammy and her girls for all your personalization needs. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram, 662-454-1061. Also sponsoring this afternoon's game is Red Bay Hospital, taking care of our neighbors close to home. Community education programs, all private rooms with free Wi-Fi, 24-hour emergency department, staff, board, board certified physicians, language interpreters are in charge, and they're free. That's Sherry Jolly, 356-9532, and it's a well care center, Chris Austin, 356-1160 or 1162. And I'm going to break in the sponsor list for just a minute as they will not have the action here for the announcement for the starting lineups and I'm gonna bring those lineups to you uh, leading off and catching for the Eagles is gonna be number seven Amos Conrad number 20 Landon Winters shortstop number 21 Brooks Powell he's in center field number eight Macon Ballard he's in third uh, number 11 Joseph Rollins he's playing down at first number five Cole Cummins is pitching number 15 Jacob Summera is the designated hitter Number 22, Jacob Krim is left field. Dale Britt is out at second, and B.J. Clark is playing right. And for the Cardinals, you're going to have playing down at second is going to be Peyton Farr. Shortstop is going to be Colin West. Playing in center field is Braden Hodum. Batting a number four and playing... Out at catcher is going to be number 10, Braden Smith. Then it's going to be number 21, Kyra Clark. He's going to be on the mound. Number three, Brody Dial is going to be down at third. You got number 15, Drew Edmondson. He's going to be the designated hitter. Then you got number six, Canyon Wright in right field. Number five, Kylie Essis will be playing down at first. And number 14, Chris Reagan will be out in left field. And now coming to the plate for the Cardinals is number 24. That's going to be Mr. Peyton Farr. He's going to be the leadoff hitter. And on the mound for the Eagles is going to be Cole Cummings, number five. And behind the plate is number seven, Amos Conrad. Both of these ten teams will be in the playoffs starting Friday. The first pitch is going to be high for ball number one. And that pitch will be wide and outside, so it'll be a 2-0 count here. So far as ahead in the count. And it's going to be ball three. 3-0 three count hitter for a leadoff hitter for the Cardinals. And this is varsity action here in New Albany at the BNA Park. And that will be ball four. So far is going to draw the walk. He goes down to first. And now coming to the plate is going to be number one. That's going to be Colin West, and on deck will be number seven, Braden Hodum. Colin steps in, no outs, runner at first. And a big cut for strike number one.
Runner goes. Throw down to second. And they're going to get him at second on a hop. No form, no no foul, no harm there because I'll tell you, you got to check the catchers out. And, and, and when you're coaching, you know, you don't know until you actually do it. So that's going to be a 1-1 one, one count now to Colin West here at the plate with one out. That's going to be a foul tip. One ball, two strikes now to Colin West. That ball's going to be hit hard. It's going to be cut fielded by the third baseman. Makes a long throw to first. First baseman makes the stretch. Gets the out. And now coming to the plate is going to be number seven. It's going to be Braden Hodum. He's one of the seniors on the team. And that'll be strike number one. And on deck is 10, number Braden Smith. That pitch is going to be high and tight on Holdem. That's going to make you count now. One ball, one strike with two outs. To the three-hole hitter for the Cardinals. He hits that ball, but it's going to be foul right back here to the backstop. So you count now one ball, two strikes. As you hear the wind blowing, it's blowing kind of from home plate out to left field. So it's kind of a cross wind. That ball's going to be hit hard by Hodum. It's going to get down in the gap out there in left center, and he's going to be there at first for a base hit. So Hodum gets on it first. And now coming to the plate is going to be number 10, Braden Smith, who's catching this afternoon. And on deck will be the pitcher, number 21, Kyler Clark. Two outs. And that is a community spirit base hit. You can do uh, payment to payment with Apple and Android Pay. Go to the App Store, download them. Big cut by Smith for strike number one. If you're out there watching, let us know how we're sounding and looking. And that'll be strike number two to Braden Smith. If you're over on uh, YouTube, because we're on YouTube as well, Twitter and X, as well as Twitch. And ball's going to be inside, so now the count's going to be a one ball, two strikes here to Braden Smith, the catcher for the Cardinals, and a runner down at first here in the top of the first. That ball's hit hard. It's going out into the outfield. And it's going to drop or catch. He's going to catch it right there. I thought it might drop in front of him, but he makes a good move. Comes forward, makes the catch. That's going to be out number three. So after half, the Cardinals will leave one stranded here in varsity action on WRMG Television 12 and 97. I'm David Leatherwood, and I'm bringing you the action this afternoon. And first up for the... Eagles is going to be Amos Conrad, then Landry Winter, the shortstop, and then number 21, Brooks Powell, the center fielder. That'll be the order coming up. Also, the Lawn Tech, Mr. Adam Pruitt, he's sponsoring this afternoon's action. He has over 10 years landscaping experience, 
He's licensed in Mississippi and Alabama for herbicide weed spray. He'll do commercial and residential services. Like him on Facebook or call him at 662-312-9948. Good luck to the Cardinals from Dr. Cameron Bond at the North Mississippi Mental Center in Iuka, 662-423-6014. Also, Alan Harden, Heating and Cooling. That's Alan and Nash Harden. They've been in business for 47 years and have been the York Factory Authorized Heating and Cooling Dealer for three generations. Call them at 356-8913. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now writing insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office. And his office is located at Main Street, 114 4th Avenue Southeast. In Red Bay for home, auto, personal, whatever you need may be, go by and see Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent, 256-356-4459. JR's Wholesale and Boutique, they are your bargain headquarters. They're located at Old Highway 25 North in Iuka, 662-424-1242. Remember, the inventory changes daily at JR's Wholesale and Boutique. Good luck to the Cardinals from your Tishomingo County corner, Mac Wildman. Sammy Hale and staff, really appreciate your business. Open seven days a week. That's Big Star of Belmont. Good luck to the Cardinals. Stone Jewelry, family owned and operated for 43 years with locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Our specialty is making the customer happy and engagement rings. And they do jewelry repair in the store. When you think of jewelry, think of stones. Good luck to the Cardinals from Joanne and Teresa. Also, for the best medical care for you and your family, remember Heather Edmondson and staff at the Belmont Medical Clinic for an appointment call 662-454-3401. This afternoon's broadcast is also sponsored by the Tishomingo County Republican Party. They invite you in helping them protect conservative values. Good luck to the Car Cardinals. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Belmont Mayor Buddy Wilshire. Alderman Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, and Ken Delaney. Jazz Mini Storage, owner operated by Jesse and Amy Schatz. They have units available. They're in Belmont on Warren Drive, 662-423-8598. And now coming to the plate for the Eagles is the number seven catcher, and it's going to be Amos Conrad. He hits that ball back up just onto the glove of the pitcher. Farr is going to make the play at second. Throw to first. Gets out in number one. So that's a four or three out. And now it's played is going to be number 20. That's Landry Winter, the shortstop. He takes the first pitch for strike number one from Kyler Clark on the hill. And that will be a ball, I believe. It's going to be a 1-1 one -one count now. Here to the number two hole hitter for the Eagles out of Euporo. That pitch misses high from Clark. Two balls, one strike. That ball's hit hard. He's going out into center field. Hold him drops back, but it's going to get over his head, so it's going to be no catch. A runner's going around to second, and he's going to hold up his second as the ball gets in. So he's in it with a double. As that ball sailed, I'm telling you, the wind had something to do with that, with that ball, I can guarantee you. Now at the plate is number 21. It's going to be Brooks Powell. He playing out in center field for the Eagles. He's got a runner at second with one out. They're going to bunt that ball, but it's going to roll foul right over here on the third base side. So Kyler Clark's heading the count. No balls, one strike. And if you're out there watching, share our broadcast. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're sounding and looking here on WRMG Television 12 and 97. 
your hometown station bringing you hometown events. This is Jack Ivey broadcasting here in New Albany, Mississippi at the BNA Park on the New Albany High School baseball part of the field or complex here. That pitch misses outside. It's going to get past Smith here. So the runner's going to move down to third. So the scoring run is at third now for the Eagles with a 1-1 count and one out to 21. Brooks Powell, the center fielder, here in the bottom of the first inning. See, I got Scott and Webster right there. Scott must be either in a break or done with his game over there for Red Bay. That ball's going to be chopped right here to the plate, and it's going to be a foul ball. So the count's one ball, two strikes now. And the sun sets on New Albany. Makes it hard to see what we got going here on the computer. So if I mess something up on this, y'all let me know. I know Scott, my buddy, will. That ball's fouled off right back into the backstop. This is on the other side of this pole that I'm set up next to. Scott, they told me I could get in the press box, but that was after I started broadcasting the setup, and I said, man, as soon as I tear it down, move up there, I'll have a problem with the equipment, and I don't want that. So the count's still one ball, two strikes with one out, and a runner down at third for Yaporo. Clark tries to get him to chase that high pitch outside, and he will not do it. So the count now is two balls and two strikes. To Brooks Powell. And here's your pitch. And good job by Braden Smith to block that ball up on the outside. So that's going to make the count full now. Three balls and two strikes. And that'll be ball four, so he's going to draw the walk, and that's going to put runners at the corners for the Port Eagles. And now coming to the plate is going to be number eight. That's Macon Ballard. He plays down at third for the uh, Eagles. He'll step here to the plate with one out. And runners at first and third for Eupora. Smith calls his play. Throw the first, not in time as the runner's back. Fakes throw to third, does not throw to first, but he fakes it to third, steps off the bound. And he throws over the first, and it's not in time again as Coley Estes puts the tag on him. Making Ballard, the lefty is at the plate. He shows bunt. He's going to bunt that one, but it's going to be fouled right back here to me. I mean, all the way back here to me. So that's going to make you count now. No balls in one strike. Here to the four-hole hitter who plays down at third. Bats left. Those right. That piece is going to be high. So it's going to be one ball, one strike now with one out. Nothing to nothing here. With the Eagles threatening to score, runners at first and third with one out. A 
That's a changeup. He's going to file it off. So he's ahead in the count now. One ball and two strikes. Fakes throw to third and first again. Nobody bites. And that pitch is going to miss high and outside, so it's going to be a 2 2 count now. Two balls, two strikes. One out. That ball's going to be hit high in the air, but it's going to be over the backstop foul. And good thing it was over there further to my right. Because I was trying to protect the equipment and show the foul ball at the same time. So, got Andy Strickland out there watching. I'm sure Andy and them are getting also getting ready for it. Uh, He's run the go down the second. There's going to be no throw. So now they have runners at second and third with one out and a full count to Macon Ballard, the third baseman. Ending them probably getting ready for spring football over there at Belmont as well. And here's your three two count pitch. going to be strike three at the plate. Good pitch by Colin. Or Kyer Clark. Clark. Yeah, Kyer Clark on the mound. I'm sorry, Kyer. I'm butchering your name today. But a great pitch right there to get out number two. And now coming to play, this is going to be number 11. It's going to be Jacob or Joseph Rollins. He plays down at first for the Eagles. He's got runners at second and third. He pops that one up. It's going to be foul back here somewhere by me. And it is going to be over the backstop. Great job by Smith to try to get to that ball. He runs into the net. And yes, Scott Webster, if you're still watching, I ducked. Linda Parrish watching. Looking good. Go Cardinals. Thank you, Miss Linda. We appreciate y'all out there watching. I hope it's looking and sounding good. If it's not, let us know. We'll get Scott Webster to fix it. <laughs> he gets him to chop that one foul as well. So that's going to be an 0-2 count now. To number 11, Joseph Rollins, who plays first. Kyer Clark's on the mound. He gets the signal. Here's your 0-2 pitch. And that pitch, I don't know how he called it a ball, but it looked good from here. If you hadn't shared our broadcast, we ask you that you do so. Share it and like it. Let us know how we're sounding and looking. If you got a special young and you want to holler their name before you do that. And that pitch will miss outside, so the count now is one ball and two strikes. And it's finally sun kind of setting and kind of partly cloudy. Kind of got behind the press box here so I can see the system a little bit better. That ball's going to hit in the air. It's going out to center field. Hold him on the run, and he's going to make a catch on the run in right center for out number three. So the Eagles score one. And I apologize for not putting that score up. So the score is one to zero. And now we'll move into the top of the second inning. And this is Varsity Action here on WRMG Television 12 and 97. I'm David Leatherwood. I'm bringing you the play-by-play, -play, and I've got the world-famous David Leatherwood also on the camera this afternoon. 
So if there's a mess up on the camera, y'all blame Randall Lindsay or Matthew Willis. We'd also like to thank Man Oil Change for supporting the Belmont Cardinals from oil changes to tire rotations, fixing flats, and some minor repairs. That's Man Oil Change in the Golden at the railroad crossing. That's Daniel Mann, 662, or yeah, 662 454 1032. Ronald Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishomingo County, says good luck to the Cardinals. Cornerstone Insurance, your locally trusted choice for independent insurance agents. Beth and her staff have over 200 years combined experience with a complete line of personal commercial insurance products with offices in Iuka, Boonville, and Baldwin. Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative and an honors college with a success center. They also have a four-day instruction a week featuring online short-term hybrid classes, all at affordable cost. So with, for your next step, go with Northeast, 1-800-555-2154 or www.nemcc.edu. Also, Mr. Patrick Brooks at Redmont Heating and Cooling. Good luck to the Cardinals. He does residential, commercial, installation, service, and repair. 662-279-6569 or 6570. And now, coming to the plate is number 21. It's Collier Clark. Clark's at the plate. And on deck will be number three, Brody Guile. And that's going to be a foul ball down to third as Coach Hinman makes the play. He hits that ball hard. It's going out into the left field. It's going back deep, deep, deep. He's almost at the wall and makes the catch for out number one. As that was a deep fly ball by the man on the hill, Collier Clark. And now coming to play this, the third baseman, number three, Brody Giles. Brody steps in here with one out, nobody on. In the top of the second. Brody hits that ball. It's going to get high in the air. It's going to be high, but it's not going to be long. And it's going to be fielded by the second baseman on the edge of the grass. Four out in number two. And now coming to the plate will be the designated hitter, number 15, Drew Edmondson. One to nothing. I mean, zero to no, zero to zero. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why I come up with that one run. I'll change that just as soon as I get that pitch. And that's the ball two to Drew Edmondson. Drew bats in the number seven hole. Got a 3-0 count. And that's a strike low. That makes you count three and one. Two outs here in the top of the second inning. And a 0-0 zero zero ball game. That ball's going to be hit hard by Edmondson. He's going out to the center fielder. He's going back, and he's going to catch it almost at the wall. So that's two well-hit balls here this afternoon so far. By the middle of the lineup for the Cardinals. And we'll move now into the bottom of the second. And your score is still 0-0. Zero to zero. Good luck to the Cardinals from the Seekers Clinic. Dr. Scott Seeger, Seegers and Nurse Practitioner Sarah Cooley. Here to serve our hometown people. 662-423-1000. The Tishomingo County Electric Power Association would like to remind you that they're still offering a rebate on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. And they are focused on providing efficient, reliable service to our TCEPA members. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams. Good luck to the Cardinals from Tamara and Brandon Farr at McRide Insurance on 9 3rd Street in Belmont with a payment office at 1407 Battleground Drive. 
They are an independent insurance agency serving Northeast Mississippi, Middle Tennessee, and Northwest Alabama. 662-454-7831. Good luck to the Cardinals from Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne. Red Bud Supply. Jeff Daniels here at Flores invites you to come see them for all your automotive repair needs. They've been serving Tisham England surrounding area for 28 years. He's located just three miles down the highway. 30 East in Tishomingo. No job is too big or too small. That's Daniel's Garage. Look him up on Facebook at Daniel's Garage or call him at 279-2622. Also, Community Spirit Bank. For all your banking needs, call Mike, Mike, Mike Montgomery and staff, 454-0001. Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont. They've been serving the area since 1945, now in their fourth generation of service. And now, coming to the plate for the Eagles is going to be number five. That's Cole Cummings. He's on the mound today, pitching. And this is Varsity Action here on WRMG Television 12 and 97. I'm David Leatherwood. It's my pleasure to be here in New Albany this afternoon to bring you this action. That's a big cut for foul ball. Also, uh, we got Jack Ivey. He's up at Bel up at Tishomingo, up in Iuka, bringing you the Tishomingo Belmont softball game. We got Scott Webster over in Heichelberg bringing you the Heichelberg Red Bay baseball. I'm here in New Albany doing the Belmont baseball against Uporo. Tomorrow I'll be bringing you Tishomingo baseball and Cal Sooth. Scott will be bringing you Tishomingo softball, and I'm not sure where Jack's going to be. I can't remember what he told me, but I'll tell you this. They'll be broadcast on Friday the 19th, weather permitting. We don't know the times yet, but these teams are in the playoffs, and we'll be bringing you that coverage coming this weekend. Big cut for strike three, so Clark gets his strikeout on the evening. I believe that is strikeout number two. And now coming to play, it'll be number 15, Jacob Summera. He is the designated hitter today. Clark's got a count of 1-1 one, one now. That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be out of play foul on the third base side. So, Collier Clark's ahead in the count. That's going to run your count. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes. He gets him to chop that one, but it's going to be fouled down the third base side. And Brody Giles is going to get that ball, throws it back to the pitcher. So your count remains two balls, two strikes with one out. To number 15, the designated hitter, Jacob Summerer. Summer, yeah, Summerer. I can't even talk. That pitch is going to be high right on the numbers, but that's a little high sometimes in baseball. Counts full now. Three miles, two strikes with nobody on. And he's going to foul that one off right back here to us. So the count remains. Three balls and two strikes. Two summer for the Eagles. Here's your 3-2 pitch. Fixing to hit the glove. And that pitch is going to be inside, so he'll draw the walk. So now the Eagles have a runner down at first. And coming to the plate is going to be number 22. That's going to be Jacob Krim. 
He plays out in the left field. Bats in the number eight spot. And like I said, he's got a runner down at first with one out. Here in the bottom of the second. This is varsity action. That pitch is low. Throw over to first. A good throw. Almost gets the runner. Good job by Estes to put the tag on him. Good, good location by Clark. Good cut at the plate for strike number one. One ball, one strike now. And another cut for strike number two. Kyle okay, Clark's hit the count now. One ball, two strikes here with the runner at first and one out. That ball's going to get away. Way past ball, actually. That's a wild pitch. Charge to the pitcher, and the runner moves down to second. And your count now goes to two balls and two strikes. And that'll be a ball on the outside edge. Well, now the count's full. Three miles, two strikes, one out. And the runner's down at second for the Eagles. That ball's going to be hit down to the shortstop. It's going to be off his glove right there in front of him, but he's going to hold it, and he'll hold the runners. That ball took a hop on Colin West. Popped in the air. And then it'll come off his glove and landed right back down around his feet. Now coming to the plate is the nine-hole hitter. It's going to be Dale Britt. Dale plays down at second for the Eagles. He steps in here to home plate with a runner at first and second with one out. So the Eagles trying to score here in the bottom of the second inning. That ball's going to be bunted. It's going to be foul. And a good hustle by Braden Smith as he can't get there, though. Yes, this is playing in. Down at first. That pitch is going to be high. So it's going to even your count up at one and one now. One ball, one strike. And like I said, Cody Estes is playing in for the bunt. That's going to be a foul tip. It's going to roll back into the backstop. So Clark gets ahead in the count. One ball, two strikes now with one out. Good-looking pitch. I tried to get him to chase it, and he don't. But that makes you count now two and two.
That's a big cut. That's strike number three, out number two. So Clark gets him another strikeout on the afternoon. And coming to the plate now will be the top of the order, number seven. That's Amos Conrad. He catches for the Eagles. He's got runners at first and second with two outs. That pitch is inside and tight. Oh, ball number one. That ball's going to be fouled down the third base side. Count now two and one. He gets him to hit that ball. It's going to be high out into left field. He's running down the line. He's going to make the catch in foul territory. So he gets out number three, so the Eagles will leave two stranded as we'll move into the top of the third now in a 0-0 zero zero battle between two very good baseball teams, and that is the Belmont Cardinals and Eupora. Here on WRMG TV 12 and 97, we're here in New Albany, Mississippi, at the BNA Bank Park. As they have been graciously to allow us to play here this afternoon, as the Eupora Eagles are hosting the Belmont Cardinals. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from your Tishomingo County Chantry clerk, Peyton Cummings. Also, Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum, they are a Tiffin Preferred provider, and they have weightlifting, powerlifting, cross-training uh, supplements locally from Belmont Pharmacy. And don't forget, they got a digital kiosk photo maker where families in health care helping families who need health care. We are Belmont Pharmacy, 454-9902. Tiffin Motorhomes, featuring the Allegro, 356-8661. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Mark Montgomery, your Allstate agent, located at 503 State Street, A1 Muscle Shows. Are you in good hands? Mark is a 99 graduate, and he would like to wish the best of luck to the Cardinals from the Montgomery Good Hands Agency, 256-386-7900. Triple D Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, and Dustin, they'll do the best to meet all your high-risk needs, whether it's tree removing, uh, Trimming or debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning a steeple, all are done in a professional manner. They are licensed, bonded, and insured, 662-7975. Seven dollar bargains. They're located in 75 Red Bay Road in Golden, and they have a location at 5548 Cliff Gookin in Tupelo. Also, Ruby Mays, Brittany Burton, good luck to the Cardinals. They're located at 377 2nd Street in Belmont. You can browse their inventory on Facebook, Instagram, or the website, www.rubymaze.com, 662-279-2015. And now at the plate is number six. That's going to be Canyon Wright. Big cut from Canyon for strike number one. Canyon's batting in the number eight spot as he plays right field for the Cardinals in a 0-0 zero to zero game. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be hit down to the second baseman. He's going to feel it. Makes the throw to first, and it's in time to get the out. So that will be out number one. And coming to the plate now for the Cardinals is the nine-hole hitter. It's Kylie Estes. He's playing down at first. And on deck will be number 24, Peyton Farr, who plays second for the Cardinals. Estes is a lefty.
First pitch is going to be high for ball number one. And the sun has set here behind the clouds. It's got a little bit cooler, thank goodness. The wind's still blowing, but not as bad as it was. And that pitch is outside, so it's a 2-0 count now to Estes. From Cole Cummins on the mound for the Eagles out of Eupora. That's going to be a foul right back here to me. And Peyton Farr, he'll get that ball, take it back and take it to the umpires. He goes to bat here because he'll be next up. And it's going to be high. It's going to run the count to three and one now. Kylie Estes, the first baseman, is at the plate. And on deck at the top of the order, Peyton Farr. That'll be ball four, so Estes draws the walk. And now, coming to the plate is going to be number 24. That's going to be Peyton Farr, second baseman. Peyton comes to the plate, one out, and a runner at first. And on deck will be number one, Colin West, a shortstop. As we're in the top of the order for the Cardinals, he shows bunt. He'll take that first pitch high for ball one. Looks down, the coach Hinman takes the sign. Steps back in the box. Here's your pitch. That's going to be hit hard. It's going to go down to second. And they're going to flip, get the lead runner, but they cannot get the speed of Peyton Farr running down to first. So it'll be two outs. And now coming to plate is number one, Colin West. I guess that was the third out. Somehow I thought that was only the second out. I guess that's the third out. I thought it was only two outs. Ah, uh, that, that explains it, don't it? <laughs> so we'll complete the end, and we'll move now to the bottom of the third. Here in New Albany at the BNA Park, here with the home of the Bulldogs from New Albany Play. We'd also like to thank Square Guests and Pharmacy, Stacy Criddle, Darlene Brown, they're the pharmacists there at 85 Main Street in Belmont in the old Yardbird Drugstore building. They have a drive through They also have available flu shots, and no waiting, and they have easy transfer for your prescriptions. They have finger pot, fingerprint pottery, tab born pottery, the Volcano by Capri Blue, the Sweet Grace by Bridgewater, and that's Square Gift Pharmacy, 662-454-9893. Sunshine Mills, maker of great cat and dog food, as well as treats. You need a winning financial strategy with then visit Guarantee Bank, formerly the First American National Bank, for personalized banking solutions tailored to your needs. They have the tools that you need to win. They're proud to be your community bank with friendly service and familiar faces. Good luck to the Cardinals from Rebecca Oaks, your good your circuit court clerk. Also, good luck from Piggly Wiggly in Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka down home down the street. They also have Ace Hardware inside. Pro Concert, Terry Hayes, sound systems, as well as media system, projectors, TVs, automated camera systems, streaming setups, and also a full line of musical instruments. Fun to flow, commercial and residential pressure washing. You got a free estimate from Michael Funderburg. Check him out on Facebook and TikTok. He's licensed and insured with a professional equipment to do the job. That's Funderflow Commercial and Residential Pressure Washing, 662-262-3569. Also, Tiffin Supply and Tiffin Appliance. Go by and see David, Tony, Eli Richard, and staff, 356-4946. You can't beat Tiffin's. Also, Mississippi Medical Associates Urgent Care Clinic at 8 Front Street in Belmont. Founders Edric Parrish with nurse practitioners Tanya Armstrong and Caitlin Whitehead. They are now open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6, Sunday 1 to 4. Let us help you with your medical needs. 662-454-1170. 
Also, Dollar Wise Discount Grocery in Burnsville. That's 10 in Windy Sparks. They also have name brand appliances and mattresses. Thompson Gas, the most trusted name in propane. Call uh, the office at 256-356-2194 and ask them about the Rely propane meter. Where you got no more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills. And no more calling to fill your tank. Just pay for what you use. Budget friendly while keeping your tank full. 256-356-2194. And now batting for the Eagles is going to be the number two hole hitter. The shortstop. That's going to be Landry Winter. Takes the first pitch. Full ball number one. And now it looks like we got Colin West on the mound for the uh, Cardinals. Big swing and miss for strike number one. Coach Inman's trying to get his pitchers some rotational time as we get ready for the playoffs Friday and Saturday. And the if game will be Monday. He and I talked about it just before the game, and he's not sure yet where they'll go. It could be Yazoo County, or it could be uh, Winona. But he's been in communication with both programs, and he'll let us know as soon as he knows. And let Jack, well, he'll let Jack know, and then Jack will let all of us know what times and where. That ball's going to be ripped in the air out to center field, actually left center field. Holden's going to get over there, makes the catch for out number one. And now coming to the plate will be Brooks Powell, the center fielder. He's batting in the number three spot. That's a strike from West. Good looking pitch. To get ahead and count now, no balls, one strike. Here to the three hole hitter, Powell. That ball's going to be chopped down the first baseline, but it's going to be foul. So, number one, Colin West is ahead in the count now, no balls, two strikes with one out. And nobody on for the Eagles. Tries to get him to chase that outside pitch, and he lays off of it as it's a little far. Full ball number one. That'll be strike three. Good looking pitch from West to get the strikeout for out number two. And now coming to the plate is going to be Macon Ballard, the third baseman, batting in the number four spot. Score is still zero to zero. Big cut for strike number one. Good looking pitch. Looked like a strike to me, but I do have the rose colored Belmont glasses on. That makes it count one and one. And that breaking pitch, he catches it, but he's going to foul it off out of play down the third baseline. So he's ahead in the count now, one ball and two strikes with two outs. To the four hole hitter, making Ballard. He gets him to foul that one off also. Hit back here by the hind the plate. Catcher's going to try to get to it. He's going to dive into the net again. Where'd he go? There he is. Count remains one and two now.
He gets him to chop that one. It's going to be down the first base side. It's going to be foul also. So that count remains one ball, two strikes still. As the winds died down, so has the heat a little bit. Got uh, Frieda Nichols Hill out there watching. If y'all hadn't shared the broadcast, we asked you to do so. Let us know how we're sounding and looking. If you're over on uh, YouTube, come over here on Facebook and let us know how we sound and look over there. This is Varsity Action here in New Albany between Eupora and Belmont. He's going to hit that ball. It's going to be a shot right up to the center of the field. Holder makes a play, gets it into the cutoff. So the Eagles are trying to get a two-out rally started here. And now the corner plate will be the fifth hole hitter, Joseph Rollins. He plays down at first base for the Eagles. He steps into plates here now with two outs and a runner at first. Throw to first. Runners back. Strike by Colin West. What a pitch. Nice inside pitch. Ties the hands up of the batter. As he's a lefty. Now the count's no, there's going to be no balls. One strike. Two outs with a runner down at first for the Eagles. That breaking ball stays outside, so that will be ball number one. It's a 1-1 one -one count here. I got Debbie Jenkins out there watching my sis. It was great seeing her the other day. I'm sorry, Deb, we had to see on the condition we saw each other, but, you know, God has a reason for everything he does. The runner goes. That's going to be a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike number two, and the runner is safe at second. I just see the cloud of dust out there. Counts now two balls in one strike with two outs and runner down at second base for the Eagles with the lefty at the plate, Joseph Rollins. Looking, breaking pitch, strike three, out number three. That's three strikeouts, four, I mean, two strikeouts for West. And the Eagles will leave one stranded here as we move into the bottom of the third in New Albany at BNA Park as the poor Eagles are hosting the Belmont Cardinals and baseball this afternoon as these teams are preparing for the division championship. It looks like Belmont's probably going to finish third in the division. Uh, you pour right now, the standings are second, and we're not sure where we're going, whether it's going to be Yazoo County or Winona. But uh, as soon as Coach Hinman finds out, he's going to let us know, and we're going to let you all know. And remember, Dice at Big Four, located at 628 South Gloucester Street. They've been in the same location for 44 years, one block north of the hospital. Right now, they're in the middle of the 44th annual Blue and Maroon sale where the loser eats beans and the winner eats steak. And when I say they eat beans, they eat beans on everything on the menu. It's a full four-course bean menu <laughs> while the winner eats steak, and it's a full big steak. You can't eat it all. And that's at Dossett Big Four, 628 South Gloucester Street in Tupelo. Remember, you always get more at Dossett Big Four. 888-892-4162 or call the local number 662-842-4162. EMI Wholesale Fireworks never pay retail again. You can buy wholesale at EMI Fireworks and visit them at the seasonal location in Big Star parking lot of Belmont or visit them anytime at www.emiwholesalefireworks.com. Edric McDowell says good luck to the Cardinals.
Also sponsored in this afternoon's game is the Old Country Store. They got a 24-hour gas pump. Your small town store striving to be your one-stop shop. They have great food there as well. I tell you, if you haven't had their ribs or anything like that, you need to do it. As the first pitch to Colin West is going to be a foul ball. As West is at the plate, the number two hole hitter. And on deck will be number seven, Braden Holderman. Number ten, Braden Smith will be in the hole. That'd be a strike called by the home plate umpire. It's going to be a 1 2 count now, I believe. As number five is on the mound, that's Cole Cummings for the Eagles. That ball's going to be low. That's going to make it 2 and 1 now. Tries to get him to chase the outside pitch, and he lays off of it. That's going to make you count three and two. And he tries to check his swing on a high breaking pitch, but he, the umpire says, no, you ain't. Well, that's going to be out number one, and coming to the plate now will be number seven, Braden Holden, the center fielder. And on deck, you'll have number 10, Braden Smith, who's behind the plate this afternoon. That pitch is high for ball one. That pitch is outside. It's going to be one and one, or two and oh now. Two balls and no strikes with one out. I'm going to file that one off. <laughs> Two one to count. Two hold them. I'm going to file that one off. That's going to be a two two count now. He's going to hit that ball hard. It's going to get out to the left field. It's going deep, deep at the wall for out number two. And now coming to the plate will be number 10. And it's going to be the man that's been behind the plate this afternoon for the Cardinals, and that's going to be Braden Smith. Score is still 0-0 zero to zero here in the top of the fourth inning. Smith takes that pitch high for ball number one. And a big cut by Smith for strike one. And that's going to even the count up now. One ball, one strike with two outs. Foul tip stays alive at the plate. Count remains one and two. That pitch is going to be inside tight to Smith. Count even two balls and two strikes now. That'll be strike three and out number three. So three up, three down for the Cardinal here in New Albany. And 
We'll have the Eagles up next. Sparks Drive-In, best food around, dine in or carry out. Check out the daily specials on Facebook. You can call in orders at 662-454-7816. Deal construction, no job too big or too small. You dream it, we build it. Call them for your free estimate, 662-424-2646. Or also call Bobby at 662-279-3482 or Haley at 662-424-2417. Willow Lane Record Service, tire store and oil change. The store hours on Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. They're located in Belmont next to the fire department. And don't forget, they also have the Willow Record Service. They're available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can call them at 454-3002, Community Spirit Bank. Now, they're sponsoring the base hits this afternoon. Also, Sid's Trading Post. Now, is is an authorized dealer for the Landmaster Utility Vehicle. Well, they've got your every need in mind. they got the LM200 all the way up to the 700. And they're suited for heavy-duty chores, more rugged terrain, or jump in and enjoy the ride. Whatever you need, Sid's had you ride it. Remember, if you got a bush hog mower dig, get her did at Sid's. Also, Generations of Red Bay, they want to remind you they are a hometown skilled nursing facility. And they've been serving the hometown folks for 40 years. And the nice thing about it is it's not just a long-term facility. It's a place where you can go get well and go home. 256-356-4982. And now coming to the plate is going to be number five. He's batting in the nine. I'm sorry, number five is batting in the sixth spot. And that's going to be Cole Cummins, the man who's been pitching this afternoon in a zero to zero ball ball game as we're in the bottom of the fourth. It'll be a ball outside. That ball's hit hard, but it's going to be foul. Down the third baseline. Caught me taking a sip of water for a 1-1 count now. Turned into a really pleasant afternoon here in New Albany. That'll be a strike call, so Colin West on the mountain gets ahead in the count. One ball and one uh, one ball and two strikes. And gets him strike three. That's going to be his third strikeout on the afternoon. And now coming to the plate is going to be Jacob Summer. He is the designated hitter. He shows bond. He's going to put it down, but it's going to be foul. Good job by catcher back here to get to that ball. That ball's going to be hit hard. It's in the air. It's going out to a right center, and it's going to drop in for a base hit. As it's hit into the gap. And coming to the plate will be number 22, Jacob Krim, the left fielder. Bats in the eight hole. Runner at first and one out. Cardinals are playing double play depth here. Over the first, and he's back. Good place to for the pitch, and a good tag by Estes. Pitch just misses. 
Oh, ball number one. Throw the first again, but not in time. That's going to be a foul tip back into the backstop. Counts now one and one. Throw it first again, and a good shot over almost gets the out. Caught him leaning, and almost rung him up for an out at first. That pitch is going to get outside. All that work doesn't pay off when the ball gets away. He gets back here to the backstop. So the runner moves down to second. So the eight-hole hitter, Jacob Krim, steps back in. Two balls, one strike. Shows bunt. And he's going to bunt that ball, and it's going to be in the air, but just too, too, too shallow to make a play on it. So now the count's even at two and two. Colin West rings another one up on a good-looking pitch on the outside of the plate. Four strike number three, out number two. And now coming to the plate is number 14, Dale Britt. That ball's going to be hit high in the air. It's going to be chased down by the third baseman. Drew Edmondson makes the high play. That'll be out number three. So the Eagles will leave one stranded here. And now we'll move in the top of the fifth inning. In New Albany here at the BNA Park. On the home of the Bulldog baseball field where the New Albany Bulldogs play. Right off of uh, Highway 20, Interstate 22 and Highway 78, you got to come around uh, the area, but it's not hard to get to once you know exactly where it is. Also, Johnny's Fort Willis and Boars. They got they're the dealer for the Argo, the Bad Boy, the Bighorn, the Bobcat, the Country Clipper, the Coolster, Dixie Chopper. Massimo Motor and the Spartan. They're located at Highway 19 in Red Bay, 256-919-1804 or 256-810-0795. Sonic and Belmont. They have your happy hour two to four daily. Half price soft drinks, slushes, and teas. Download the Sonic app. Place your order online and you'll see special offers on the app. It's happy hour all day, every day. And I use a 423-9100 and at Belmont, 454-30. Seven zero. Also, Econo Storage, only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Spark says good luck to the Cardinals. He's got locations in Belmont and Tishomingo, 423-8767. Also brought to you by Best Way Incorporated and in Golden. Need a sign or banner made for your business or your athlete? They manufacture them in-house to suit whatever you need. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years with ex experienced, friendly staff to assist you. Tishomingo County School Board and Superintendent Christy Holly would like to wish all the Tishomingo County Schools good luck. Now let's go Cardinals. 
Also, Tri-State Insurance Agents, Caleb Wells, Kim Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, Brenda Purser, located at Belmont and Red Bay. You can call them at Belmont at 662-454-3304 or in Red Bay, 256-356-4804. When you become a customer of ours, you become family. We take the uncertainty out of insurance. Make sure you have the protection you need. And now batting for the Cardinals is number 21. Batting in the five hole, the pitcher, Kyle Clark. He takes the first pitch for a strike. That ball's going to be hit down to the shortstop. He's going to backhand it. Makes the long throw to first. And he gets the out. Coming to the plate now will be number three, the third baseman, the senior, Brody Isles. Brody, Scott and I remember him in football. He was what you call a head hunter. Whitney, that would be Brody on third base for the last out. That was right. And he is right here at the plate now, Miss Whitney. And that's going to be a dead ball. He's going to be hit by a pitch, so he's going to be on at first. So good job by Brody to stand in there, take the lick. Moves down to first, and now coming to the plate is going to be number 15. That's going to be Drew Edmondson. Whitney, I don't know what kin you are to Brody, but I can tell you this, in football, I, I wouldn't want to been hit by the young man because he is what I call a headhunter, go-getter. I'm talking about a stud of a player. And he's pretty good at baseball as well. So Bunt pulls it back for strike number one. Throw over to first, not in time. Brody gets back. That ball hit hard down to third, but it's going to be foul. So the count now is 0 and 2. Here to Drew. He's my stepson. I love to play football with him some days. I don't see how you do it. He can hit. <laughs> I wouldn't play with him, Miss Whitley. <laughs> that ball's outside. It's going to be a one-two count now. I tell you, I loved watching that young man play. Good gosh, I did. I know y'all did as well. I could tell when we had the senior night that uh, how things went, and he, he did a great job. We're going to miss him. That ball's hit in the air. It's going out to left field. Left fielder comes in. He's going to make the catch in shallow left. Four out number one. I mean number two. I'm sorry. Get lost sometimes when I'm standing out here by myself and don't have anybody to keep me straight but myself. And now at the plate is going to be Canyon Wright, the right fielder for the Cardinals. He's got a runner down at first and two outs. And he's a two-out rally started here for the Cardinals in a 0-0 zero zero game. Takes the first pitch inside for a ball. On deck is number five, Kylie Estes. That's not number five. They're going to bring number four in. And number four is going to be Cersei Miller. And that ball's going to be hit down to third, throw down to first, and makes out number three. So the Cardinals leave one stranded as we move now into the bottom of the fifth in a 0-0 zero zero score. Between two very good ball teams getting ready for the playoffs starting Friday. Happy Hollow Outdoors, they carry a large variety of gifts. They have seasonal gifts, baby gifts. Items for pets. They got a women's boutique and clothing, interior items. They got a bridal registry. They got sporting goods section with uh, camo and hunting apparel, guns and ammo of any caliber. They got boots. They got golf, football. They got golf. They even have two golf simulators to check your swing. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Tracy Arnold, your District 3 House of Representatives. Good luck to the Cardinals from Tishomingo Connect. 662-423-3646. Pro finishes on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Ask Ricky McGee. He is your RV Collision Center. 
256-224-8447. Also, Casey Light, owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi, with attorneys licensed in Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Casey and his team specialize in personal injury and pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical liability cases. Call Casey Light for your legal needs, 662 662- 554-4000. Also, Mr. Edwin Bowling at Southeast Surplus, Highway 25 South in Belmont. He's been your steel product headquarters for 18 years, but he also has a truck and car accessory supply headquarters where we install what we sell. Good luck to the Cardinals from Phil Byron and his staff at Napa on 97 Main Street in Belmont, 662-454-9754. Also, Good luck to the Cardinals from J.C. Weeks and his friendly staff at Redmont Pharmacy, 356-9000. And now, coming to the plate again is going to be the top of the order for the Eagles out of Eupora. Number seven, Amos Conrad, who's catching this afternoon. He is the top of the order, order for the Eagles. And that pitch will be a ball. He gets him to fly, hit that one out in the right field. Right field of the canyon, right's going after it. He can't get to it as it drops in the corner out there in right field. The runner's moving around to third. And they're going to bring him home. I don't know not. They're going to stop him there at third as the ball was in the corner. All the way to the right field side, so he's in there with a triple. And they'll have a courtesy runner come in for the catcher. And it's going to be, it looks like number six, and number six, four, is Peyton Allred. So Allred will come in as a courtesy runner for the pitcher, or catcher. And now number 20, the number two hole hitter, Landry Winter, is up. He plays shortstop. He'll step in here with no outs and a runner at third in a 0-0 zero to zero battle between two very good baseball teams at the BNA Park here in New Albany on WRMG TV 12 and 97. I'm David Leatherwood. It's my pleasure bringing you the action this afternoon. I'll be up at uh, Kyle Sooth tomorrow bringing you the Tishomingo County Baseball. And that pitch misses high for ball number one. That one's going to be low in outside, so it'll be a 2-0 count now. We are in the bottom of the fifth, I believe it is here. Yes, bottom of the fifth. As you pour, is the home team. That'll be a strike call. Y'all, I may be wrong. We may be in the bottom of the six. I cannot see that scoreboard out there. Because I'm blind in one eye. I can't see out of the other. Now, we're in the bottom of the fifth. Big cut for strike number two. So, it's a 2-2 count. So, Miss Linda, we're in the bottom of the fifth. Eupora is the home team here in New Albany this afternoon. How they decided it, I'm not sure, but that ball's going to be low, so it's going to be a 3-2 count. So now the count's full at 3-2. Three, three balls, two strikes. No outs with a runner at third. And number 20, Landry Winter, the shortstop's at the plate. West gets him to pop that one up. It's going to be over on the first base side. First baseman's going to get to it, makes the out. So Essence gets over there, makes the play. That's Kyle your Clark over there. I apologize. They have moved him around on me again. But Clark makes the play. That'll be out number one. And now coming to the plate is going to be the three-hole hitter, number 21, who plays in center field, Brooks Powell. He's got one out and a runner at third. And the bottom of the fifth. 
Pitch is going to be high for ball one. And they want to take a timeout and go out and talk to the man on the mound. And when they take a timeout, we want to recognize Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Misty and Dusty Brandon, the owners, they said good luck to the Cardinals. Inspirations for women, your hometown one-stop shop. Go see Tammy and her girls. They also say good luck to the Cardinals. Red Bay Hospital, taking care of her neighbors close to home. That's Miss Sherry Jolly, the vice president. And they have... Outpatient services like echocardiogram, cardioid Doppler studies, ultrasound x-rays, CTs, MRIs, lab, IV infusion, physical therapy, and mammograms. They also have a well care center managed by Mr. Chris Austin, 356-1160 or 1162. Also sponsoring this afternoon's action is the Lawn Tech, Mr. Adam Pruitt, 662-312. 99.48, got over 10 years landscaping experience. Also, Dr. Cameron Bonds at the North Mississippi Medical Center. Good luck to the Cardinals, 662-423-6014. And back in action here, number 21, Brooks Powell is at the plate. With a runner at third and one out. They throw the third, but it's back in time. There's the pitch. It's going to be hit in the air. The shortstop's going to get in and under. It's going to make the call. That'll be out number two. And the runner has to stay at third. So we got two outs now. Runner down at third. And coming to the plate is number eight, the four-hole hitter. That's going to be Macon Ballard. Ballard plays third base. That pitch is going to miss low for a ball. And that's a big swing for strike number one. Caught him with even the count up at one ball, one strike now. And he gets him on a breaking pitch for strike number two. Good looking pitch from West. One ball, two strikes here. So he's trying to get out of the inning without giving up the run at third. And he's done a great job so far. Defense has been right there for him. There's the pitch. That's going to be hit hard. That's going to drop in the gap. And that will score a run. And he'll be down at first. He caught that ball on the end of the bat. And he's going to pick up a run for the Eagles. And now it's a one to nothing game. And coming to the plate is going to be number 11, Joseph Rollins, the first baseman. He's got two outs and a runner at first. That ball is going to be hit. It's going to be hit. Foul out of play. And I'll be honest with y'all, I lost that ball in the lights. So I'm not sure where it went.
And that'll be another good looking pitch from West for strike number two. So he's ahead in the count now, no balls and two strikes. To the five hole hitter, Jacob Joseph Rollins. They throw it first, he's back in time. He's going to hit that one a long shot down foul on the first base side out of play. So the count's down, no balls, two strikes from West to Rollins. And number five, Cole Cummins, the pitcher's on deck for the Eagles. Throw it first, and they almost get him again. And he gets him swinging. That's going to be a drop ball. And they throw down the first. That's the out. So that'll be three away. But the Eagles score one. Leave one stranded as now we'll move into the top of the sixth inning. Here in New Albany. And we'd also like to recognize Allen and Nash Harden heating and cooling. They've been in business for 45 years. For, I'm sorry, 47 years. And they are in their third generation of being the factory authorized York heating and cooling dealer. 356-8913. Ronald Thorne, your good neighbor insurance agent, now writing insurance in Mississippi from his Red Bay office at Main Street, 114th, 4th Avenue, Southeast. 256-356-4459. Gerald Social and Boutique. They are your bargain headquarters. They're located at Highway 25 North in Iuka. 662-424-1242. Also, good luck to the Cardinal Shrum. Your Tissue Mingo County Corner, Mac Wildman. Also, good luck to the Cardinal Shrum, Sammy Hale and staff. We really appreciate your business. We're open seven days a week. That's Big Star of Belmont. Stone Jewelry, family owned and operated for 43 years with locations at Ripley and Tupelo. When you think of jewelry, think of stones. Good luck to the Cardinals from Joanne and Teresa. Also, for the best medical care for you and your family, remember Heather Edmondson and staff at the Belmont Clinic. For an appointment, call 662-454-3401. This afternoon's action is also sponsored by the Tishomingo County Republican Party. We invite you to... Help us in protecting the conservative values. Good luck to the Cardinals. That pitch is going to be high. Full ball number one to number four. And that's going to be Cersei Miller. That ball is going to be hit. It's going to be off the pitching mound. going to be the second baseman going to make the play. And he's going to throw it down and just get the out as Miller Cersei almost beat that throw out. And now coming to the plate will be number 24, and that's going to be Peyton Farr, the second baseman. He steps in here with one out and nobody on. Joe Bunt pulls back, and that will be ball number one. And there's your pitch, and that will be outside for ball number two. Count now, two and one. Uh, 
Three and one is the count now. That'll be ball four, so Peyton Farr draws the walk. So Farr goes down to first. And now the number two hole hitter, Colin West, who's pitching, steps in here to the plate. He's going to have a runner at first with one out. On deck will be number seven, Brayton Hodum. Throw it at first, not in time. As they know, Far has some speed on him. That ball's going to be down and in the dirt. Good job by Conrad, the catcher for the Eagles, to keep that ball in front of him. Mad pitches outside. West thought about it and then said, nope. So that's going to be a 2 0 count now. That will be strike number one. Base umpire wanted a timeout for something. I think it was a ball on top of the dugout or something from the other field. I'm not sure what we're waiting on, but it was something to do with the other field, I think. And now I believe we're ready to play. Count is two balls and one strike here to Colin West, the number two hole hitter for the Cardinals, and the tie and run at first. That ball gets outside. Farr's going to go down to second. He's going to stand up in there with no problem. So good base running by the Cardinals. Three and one is the count now. That ball's going to be hit, but it's going to be down the third baseline foul. It's out of the reach of everybody to include the quick hands of Coach Hinman. Three, two is the count. And it's going to be strike three. He's going to drop the ball and throw down the first to get the out. So that will be out number two. Michael Knight says Cole Cummings just represented him. He's doing a good job out there on the hill. That's the pitcher for the uh, Eupora Eagles. We appreciate you watching. That ball will be high. That's going to be fouled off by Holdem into the net here. So that's going to make you count now. One and one with two outs and a runner at second. With the catcher, number 10, Braden Smith on deck. That ball's going to be hit hard down to first base. It spins, but he's going to make the play. Steps on the bag for out number three. 
So the Cardinals will leave one stranded as we'll move now into the bottom of the sixth inning. And varsity action here in New Albany at the BNA Park between the Eupora Eagles and the Belmont Cardinals. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from the Belmont Mayor, Buddy Wilshire, and Board of Aldermen, Steve Smith, Mike Harris, Sonia Harris, Brandon Farr, and Ken Delaney. Good luck to the Cardinals from Jazz Mini Stories. Owner are Amy and Jesse Schatz. They're in 36 Warren Drive in Belmont, 662-423-8598. Good luck to the Cardinals from Man Oil Change, located at the Go in Golden at the Railroad Crossing. 662-454-1032. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishabingo County. Good luck to the Cardinals from Beth and her staff at Cornerstone Insurance, your locally trusted choice for independent insurance agents. Good luck to the Cardinals from Northeast Mississippi Community College. They have a workforce training with a commitment to excellence in athletics and a four-day four day instructional week featuring online short-term hybrid classes, all at an affordable cost. Take your next step with Northeast. 1-800-555-2154 or www.nemcc.edu. Also, Mr. Patrick Brooks at Redmont Heating and Cooling, Residential Commercial Installation Service and Repair, 662-279-6569 or 6570. Good luck to the Cardinals from Daniel Sparks, your state senator representing District 5. Good luck to the Cardinals from the Seegers Clinic. Dr. Scott Seegers, Nurse Practitioner Sarah Cooley, here to serve our hometown people, 662-423-1000. Sponsoring this afternoon's action is the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. They are a member of the TVAE program, where TVA will come in and do an energy audit of your home. For more information, call 423-3646 during normal business hours. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from McWright Insurance at 9 3rd Street in Belmont with the payment office at 1407 Battleground Drive in Iuka. Under the leadership of Tamara and Brandon Farr, we are an independent insurance agency serving Northeast Mississippi, Middle Tennessee, and Northwest Alabama. 662-454-7831 for a free estimate. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Mark Chimley and Scotty Payne at Red Bud Supply. Daniels Garage, Mr. Jeff Daniels. Look him up on Facebook. Jeff and his employees invite you to come see them for all your automotive repairs. 279-2622. Deaton Funeral Home of Belmont and Red Bay, serving the area since 1945. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. Go by and see Mark Montgomery and his staff. 454-0001. Peyton Cummings says good luck to the Cardinals from your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. And now we're going to have a relief pitcher, and it's going to be, I believe, number seven, Braden Holdem coming in. While he takes those pitches, we also want to recognize Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore, Kathy Kellum at the Belmont Pharmacy. They have a digital photo kiosk, and they have all kind of supplements there. We are a health care pharmacy, and we're health care workers Helping families who need health care, we are Belmont Pharmacy, 454-9902. Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro, 356-8661. And also Mark Montgomery, your Allstate agent, at 503 State Street, Suite A1 in Muscle Shows. He's a 99 grad. He says good luck to the Cardinals, 256-386-7900. And coming to the plate now will be number 24, 4 the Eagles and number 24 is coming in and that's going to be Duke Gray and number 7 Holdem is on the hill for the Cardinals that first pitch will be a ball That'll be a strike on the inside edge. Side of counts one and one. Here to Duke Gray. He hits that ball. It's going to drop out in there into left field. And he's going to be on at first. So 
So we'll have a runner coming in for Gray. And now at the plate will be number five. That's Cole Cummins. He's on the hill. I'm sorry, it's number 15. That's going to be Jacob Summer. As 24 hit for Cole Cummins. So 15 will be coming in. Jacob Summer. He's going to bunt that ball from me right back to hold him. He's going to throw, throw steps to first. Gets he out. Yeah, that's not to hold him on the mound. That's number. Yeah, that is hold him. I'm sorry. Hold him makes the out. Gets the lead runner. Good job by hold him on the hill. And now come to the plate will be number 22. That's going to be Jacob Ch Crimney. Jacob Crim, the left fielder. He comes in here with a run out, one out and a runner at first. As they're going to have another courtesy runner coming in. And y'all, I apologize. I can't see the numbers out there as they come in from the dugout on those white jerseys with the purple lettering. And Belmont's in the blue jerseys with the white lettering and the gray pants. And the poor Eagles are in the white uniforms with the purple writing. And I don't have good eyes. Even with glasses on this late in the evening. That pitch is going to be high. Throw down to second. It's in there, and they're going to get the out. Good job by the Cardinals to get the runner trying to steal down to second. Good throw here from Smith, and a good tag down there by the Cardinals shortstop to get out number two. So now we got two outs and an 0-1 count here to the eight-hole hitter, Jacob Krim. That pitch is going to be low for ball one. So it's going to be a 1-1 count now from Holdem on the mound. In the bottom of the sixth here in a one to nothing ball game with two outs. And it's going to be strike number one. So that's going to be a 2-1 count here to Krim, the left fielder for the Eagles. And it's a swing and a miss for strike number two. Counts now two and two. Holden gets him to pop it up, but it's going to be out of play over there on the first base side. Count remains two and two. And that'll be strike three on a breaking pitch by Braden Holden to get the third out of the inning. 
So a good job for the Cardinals as now we'll move into the top of the seventh inning. And your score is one to zero for the Eupora Eagles. The Cardinals need to score one here or two to win it or to send it into the bottom of the seventh it is. Triple D bucket service. Barney Brandon and Dustin, they'll do the best to meet all your high risk needs. They're licensed, bonded, and insured. 662-279-7500. Silver dollar bargains located at 75 Red, Bud Row, Red Bay Road in Golden. And they're also located at 5548 Cliff Gookin in Tupelo. Also, good luck to the Cardinals from Brittany Burton. She'd been in the area running Ruby Mays for seven years now. And you can browse her inventory on Facebook, Instagram, or rubymays.com. 662-279-2015. Also, Square Gift, Square Pharmacy and Gifts. Stacy Criddle, Darlene Brum. They have a baby bridal registry as well. They'll deliver and free gift wrap. We have a brother's cup, go and make brother's cup, go and make coffee, cakes by sugar bakery. That's here in New Albany. Willow Tree Angels, Volcano by Capri Sun, Capri Blue, Sweet Grace by Bridgewater, Fingerprint Pottery, and Tab Born Pottery. Go see them or call them at 662-454-9893. And we're going to have a pitching change, and it looks like number 14 is coming in in relief, and that's going to be Dale Britt. Dale Britt will come into the, on the mound here. And now to play it is going to be number 10. It's going to be Braden Smith. He steps in here. Nobody out, nobody on in the top of the seventh. Takes the first pitch for strike one from number 14. That is Dale Britt on the mound in relief. And it's going to be a foul tip for strike number two. It's going to be a check swing, foul ball. The count still remains. It's going to be no balls and two strikes. To Braden Smith, the catcher for the Cardinals, who's batting in the number four spot. That breaking pitch just misses for ball number one. He's going to hit that ball down to third. It's going to be backhanded by the shortstop. Long throw to first. And what a play as that was just about a excellent job by running through the bag by Braden Smith as he almost beat the throw on the backhand from number 20 at the shortstop. That's Landry Winters. The ball was in the hole. And now at the plate is number 21. That's going to be Collier Clark. There's one out, nobody on, and a one-to-nothing score. That ball hit hard. It's going to be down to third. It's going to be past his glove. So that's going to be a community spirit base hit by Collier Clark. And you can deposit the check from anywhere with spirit pay check to check on check depositing. And Coach Inman wants to put a courtesy runner in. For Clark, and he's going to send in number 
20, and that's going to be Elijah Rogers. So Rogers will go in as a courtesy runner. And remember, with Community Spirit Bank, you can do a open up a student checking account for just a dollar. And now coming to play, there's going to be number three. And it's going to be Brody Guile. Brody plays down at third. He's a tough cat, I can tell you. He's batting in the number six spot. So the tying run for the Cardinals is at first. That pitch is going to miss outside, so that'll be a one ball, no strike count. Here to Brody, the third baseman. The senior wears number three. That ball is going to be hit. It's going to go out into right field. It's deep out there on the line. Uh, right fielder is going to make the catch. He slides down after, but he makes the catch for out number two. But a well-hit ball down the first baseline. And now coming to the plate will be number 15. It's going to be Drew Isman. Drew's the designated hitter this afternoon. As he's trying to get the run from first to the plate to tie the ball game. That pitch misses outside for ball number one. That's ball number two. That pitch is going to be wide and outside. Three zero is the count. Here to Drew Edmondson. That'll be ball four. Drew draws the walk. So now we've got runners at first and second. So the tight run for the Cardinals is that is that second to go ahead runs at first, and at the plate is number six Canyon Wright, the right fielder. Coach Hinman wants to have a discussion with him about making sure he knows the signs and signals and what we want to do. And at the same time, Epora wants to talk to the pitchers. And it looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner coming in, and it's going to be number. I can't see the number way over there. But while I'm waiting to see that number, we also want to recognize Sunshine Mills, maker of great yard and cat food. The Guarantee Bank, proud to be your hometown community bank, friendly service and familiar paces. Rebecca Oaks, good luck to the Cardinals from your circuit court clerk. Bigly Weekly, Belmont, now you can Red Bay. Pro Concert, Terry Hayes. Fun to Flow, commercial and pressure, residential pressure washing. Sunshine Homes, good luck to the Cardinal, build a quality home since 71. And we're going to have a courtesy runner, number 14 will come in. And that's going to be none other than Chris Reagan. So Chris Reagan comes in, he's at first. You got number 20, Elijah Rogers, down at second. With two outs. We'd also like to recognize David Tiffin, Tony Eli, and staff at Tiffin Supply and Tiffin Appliance, the Medical Associates Urgent Care Clinic in Belmont, Eric Fred, Hedrick Parrish, and nurse practitioner Tony Armstrong, and Caitlin Whitehead, Dollar Wide Discount Grocery in Burnsville, Ted and Wendy Sparks. 
the Thompson Gas, the most trusted name in propane. Dustin Chase Oliver, locally manager there, and he's got they have the Rely Propane Meter. Dossett Big Four, 628 South Gloucester Street in Tupelo. EMI Wholesale Fireworks. The Old Country Store. Sparks Drive-In, Best Food Around. Deal Construction. Willow Lane Record Service. Community Spirit Bank. Generations of Red Bank and Sid's Trading Company. First pitch is a strike to Canyon Wright. With two outs and the tie-in run at second for the Cardinals here in the top of the seventh inning. Takes that pitch. That'll be a 1-1 one -one count now. One ball, one strike with two outs. And on deck at number five, Kylie Estes. Takes that pitch inside for ball number th two. Two one count. That'll be high for ball three. So Canyon Wright wants to, but he lays off of it. Good job at the plate. To run the count now, three miles in one strike. Runners at first and second with two outs. And that's going to be ball four. He drops the walk, draws the walk. And that's going to load the bases up for the Cardinals. And now coming in. To bat in the number nine spot is going to be number 18, and that is going to be Parker Stanley. Stanley steps in here to the plate. Base is loaded, two outs. So the tie and run for the Cardinals is at third. The go-ahead runs at second with bases loaded. And here's your pitch. That'll be a breaking ball for strike number one. He was taken, and I don't blame him. He should have been taken. The coach should have told him to take with all the balls that the young man has thrown. And that is a ball on the outside edge. So now the count's one and one. Cardinals trying to break it open here in the top of the seventh to stay alive. And that pitch is going to be a strike called on the inside. That's going to make you count now one ball and two strikes. And that's going to be a swing and a miss for strike number three. Out number three. So that's going to be your ball game, folks, here. But not before a hard-fought battle to try to come back and score some runs here in the top of the seventh against a very good pitcher today in the young man who was on the mound, Cole Cummins, for you poor. He did a great job on the hill. And the Cardinals did well as well. They, we just left too many stranded today. And that's going to complete it here in New Albany on WRMG Television 12 and 97, Jack Ivey Broadcasting. It's been my pleasure to be here with you this afternoon in New Albany. Look out for us tomorrow as we're going to have some ball games for you also on WRMG TV 12 and 97, Jack Ivey Broadcasting. I'm saying, I'm David Leatherwood, and I'm saying good night from New Albany at the BNA Park here on your hometown station.